Welcome to another segment of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Golden. Thanks so much for being with us today. I have the honor of being joined by Dr. Howard Gendelman. And as I'm sure most of you know, Dr. Gendelman is the chair of our Department of Pharmacology and Experimental Neuroscience. Dr. Gendelman, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, I wanted to spend a little time with you and with our audience to talk about some of your research on Parkinson's disease. I know it's been almost 20 years. I think you told me 17 years that you've been working on this. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about what you're doing and why it's so important and how important Parkinson's disease is to our society these days. The most important part of the research effort is being able to see all that you've done from the laboratory, single test tube, and ultimately to a animals or large animals, mm -hmm. and then to humans. So the greatest gratification that a scientist has is to be able to take an invention or an idea and move it from the laboratory bench to the patient bedside. And although 17 years seems like an awful long time, it's actually relatively short in, in the development of this research endeavor. Why? Because we had to develop a new concept. As we know, Parkinson's disease has been around for a very long time. Sure has. And all we have is palliative therapy. We can replace neurotransmitters, dopamine, mm -hmm. and make symptoms better, but we have no way, no means, to actually reverse or affect the disease process. So 17 years ago, we reasoned that one could take the immune system, one that fights bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens, and reprogram it, transform it, so it can repair the brain the same way it can rid the body of harmful microbial infections that it does all the time. That's an amazing uh, innovative concept and 17 years to transform the thinking about Parkinson's disease again might seem like a long time but that sounds like a tremendous transformation. So could you tell our audience and me a little bit about where you stand now and uh, what the status of the research is? Because I know you've done some clinical trials yeah, we, we just finished what we call a phase one mm -hmm. clinical trial. That's an early intervention, which usually is involved in making sure the drugs can be used safely. And we can test a platform for possibly moving this to a larger uh, number of patients and a larger integration. Because we're at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and we have many assets, we have a great radiology department. We have a phenomenal neurology department. We have an infrastructure for basic sciences. And one of the great parts of this research was the ability to mold or bring all these facets together into a team that's working towards a singular goal. Mm -hmm. So the phase one was not simply taking a drug and giving it to a patient. The phase one was understanding how the drug works. How do we mobilize the immune system and change it in such a way that it could repair the brain, could affect the ongoing degeneration that's so devastating in Parkinson's disease. And we've done this by not only looking at patients' responses or clinical responses, but we've done this in a way that we can actually look radiographically. We can look immunologically. We can look by molecular biomarkers, what we call metabolomics and proteomics. We can mold different resources and able to determine how the patients not only uh, respond to the drug, but how do they get better? How do they neurologically improve? So in essence, and what we're most excited for or about is the ability to bring so many different people together in a room working for a singular goal to make a major difference in the fight against this terrible and horrific disease. Well, I congratulate you on all of the successes you've had. Thank you, and please thank your entire team and all of the UNMC departments that are collaborating on this. And on behalf of the entire university, uh, we look forward to hearing more and learning more about this when this research becomes more complete. And I thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time today. And I thank you for joining us on this segment of Under the Microscope.